Well, the National Federation of Independent Businesses is out with its latest small business optimism index, which fell almost a full point in March, marking the 15th month in a row that we have seen this reading below the 49-year average. Among business owners, chief concerns are inflation, their loan access, and also availability of the quality of labor. The NFIB's executive director of research, Holly Wade, joining us now to break it all down. Holly, lots to get into here, but clearly that my takeaway from this Main Street is not feeling any better about the prospects the outlook here for business conditions. What are you hearing from the owners? So we're hearing just that. They are still not terribly optimistic about business conditions looking forward. And in March, we saw a deterioration of those expecting higher sales than, than lower sales. So we're seeing a deterioration there. Also, in job openings, fewer have job openings, even though it's still historically very high. There was also a deterioration in those thinking that it's a good time to expand. And again, as you said, expected credit conditions did fall a bit last month. And so between those four components, those were the main reasons for the decline that we saw last month. Holly, when it comes to what we're seeing in terms of predicting a recession, I know a number of small business owners have gotten a little bit more pessimistic. Are they bracing themselves for maybe a deeper recession than they had initially feared? Well, we're still seeing high labor indicators. So, you know, those are those who are thinking that it's a you know good time to hire. They still are planning to hire. They still have incredibly high numbers that have unfilled job openings. So there's still those sales opportunities that they're not able to take advantage of right now because of staffing limitations. And until we see those numbers to start to decline more significantly than we have, then we'll you know look at the landscape of small business as far as recession. But right now, with those high labor indicators, you know there is still room for improvement and growth for small firms. They just aren't able to find applicants to fill those open positions. Yeah, 43% saying that they cannot find the workers. We just had that full screen up. Holly, what, so what are small business owners doing? Are they offering higher pay? Are they finding other incentives in order to try and attract that talent? Absolutely. They are trying to be as competitive as possible for retention and for recruitment, for filling those open positions. Higher compensation, benefits, uh, expanding their benefit. Uh, to be more attractive and competitive. And, you know, it's often very difficult for small firms in that area, especially when it comes to the cost of health insurance and some of those big ticket item compensation benefits um, that many aren't able to offer employees. However, you know, increasing pay has been one of the ways that they've been able to try and recruit, but it is still very challenging. Holly, you mentioned it earlier and we talked about it briefly, just the loan conditions, more business owners saying that they are having a tougher time accessing loans. What does this do then to small business growth or really some of the inability then that some of these companies will have to expand here, at least in the near term? Certainly. Well, credit conditions, you know, loans are more expensive. We've seen that in our data and they're expecting tighter credit conditions going forward. So we saw a bit of an uptick in those saying that they expect credit conditions to be harder in the next quarter than they were in the previous quarter. But finance or earnings is their primary source of financing their business and expansion. And we've seen, you know, some pretty healthy sales in the small business sector. And when we look at those who are regular borrowers on whether they are generally satisfied with borrowing or unsatisfied, we still only have 2% saying that they were unsatisfied in their borrowing efforts in this last quarter. So that still has stayed stable until we see that deteriorate, then that will be of huge concern. Yeah, it's very important to point out just a small number of owners are saying that they are having a tough time right now. More business owners, though, are having a tough time with inflation. That, of course, has been the story in this index, in this report now for months. Are we seeing any signs of relief or at least some business owners getting a little bit more positive? about the prices that they are paying for their goods, for their products, for their materials? Sure. So inflation has been the story over the last year for the small business sector. They've had a 
incredibly difficult time trying to manage those increased costs and remain competitive. We have seen a bit of a slow up in actual price increases for their goods and services. So it does seem that there is a bit of relief on the inflation front, but it remains that still those who say that inflation is their single most important problem operating their business is as still at historic levels that we haven't seen in 48 years. All right, Holly Wade, thanks so much for breaking down NFIB Small Business Optimism Index. All right, coming up, the